Do you believe? He walks into a bar. No, I believe him. You know, he, look, Golovkin uh, right now is the boogeyman, and, and nobody seems to want to fight him. You're talking about a guy that is a 47 pounder willing to move up, as Khan did with Canelo. Mm -hmm. um, I think that that's ballsy. I think that uh, he understands that uh, he's got nothing to lose, like Khan has nothing to lose with Canelo. Eddie and Tom can put it together, it's an interesting fight. Would it be a challenging fight for Gennady or is it a fight that wouldn't be? No, I think we're going to be able to tell on the on the seventh. Uh, if Khan moving up fighting Canelo is challenging for Canelo and it's a fight that goes 12 rounds and it's, uh, it's uh, I'm going to say, not a one-sided fight, then, then maybe uh, Kel looked great tonight from what I hear. I didn't see the fight, but he looked great, so uh, it, it could be. Uh, so Floyd said that if for Triple G, if he wants to ever fight Triple G, he needs to beat Andre Ward first. Okay, that's how ridiculous that is. He's going to move up to move down. That's <laughs> stupid. I mean, come on. Uh, why would he go up to 168 and then come down to 154? Look, just saw what he weighed the other day. was 164. I put him on a scale at the doctor's office. Uh, so uh, he's, he's not a guy that's, that's, that's super middleweight. When he captures all the middleweight titles, then we can talk about him moving up to him. But hey, oh, when, when, when Golovkin was, and you guys were talking about moving up to fight against Carl Frotcher, Chavez, weren't you guys planning on possibly fighting him and still trying to pursue a Floyd Mayweather fight? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. But you're talking about fighting not for 10 cents. But he would have went yeah. up and but went back about, down. You're talking about going and fighting in front of 80,000 people. So and, it's and, worth and, to go up and go uh, down if it's for it a certain... It's a business. It's a business. Uh, he's going to go to England and make... 10, 15 million dollars, of course we're going to go to England and then struggle to get back to 54. But a lot of guys, as you know, in interviewing all these guys, when they move up, it's difficult for them to move back down. So then Floyd would have a better chance if he didn't move down because he's going to kill himself to get down to 54. Like but, 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 he, but he made the A-side though, don't, don't you think? He, he, he's, all, he's earned the right to call the shots. Say that again? By him being, being the established A-side, do you think he earned the right to Mayweather to call the shots? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Look, he's the best fighter. I mean, he's still even um, retired. He's still the best fighter in the world. So you believe fighting Frotch would be worth, you know, stepping up in competition and then coming back down to Floyd Mayweather, but you don't believe fighting Ward would, would actually be How worth. Many people here today. About eight eight, eight thousand nine, plus. Nine thousand. This guy just is going to sell out the form again. Why would we take a step backwards? This what TV ratings you think he'll do? Huh? What we do? He, you think he, he'll do he, he, he can make a million pay per view? Well, just the ratings. Oh, ratings. What do you think you these know, TV ratings would be like a million or what? I, ho I hope so. I hope I hope so for Andre uh -huh. because he's a great talent. Uh -huh. Just he hasn't, for whatever reason, he hasn't gotten his dues uh, from the public. Uh, but neither is Rigo, neither is, neither is Lara. The public is asking for something different, something different to what he does. I sure hope he gets the ratings. Do you think Ward hey, actually did it differently? He was more offensive today oh, than I've ever seen him. Absolutely, a great fight today. Yeah. But but he fought a great fight. But. He, uh, the next time, maybe he'll get the ratings because he fought a great fight this time and he's going to do the same thing the next time. People just anticipated a, a same kind of war fight for this fight. But I thought he fought a great yeah. fight. What's your, what's your take on Triple G and Canelo in Texas at AT&T Stadium in September? I don't think Canelo won the uh, fight with Triple G and we, we will see uh, uh, Canelo fight probably heavy in 2018. That's hard. Hey, Oscar's got to be smart. Oscar, yeah. Aaron, when, when, um, Aaron was doing uh, Pacquiao, he used we're the comedy years before he really put him against anybody. Too much attention, man. This is a great night. If Lufkin wasn't there, um, Canelo I'm really would be a little bit.